Hi, it's Tim from OracleBase.com. In this video, we'll look at extended data types. This was introduced in 12C Release 1, and in addition to the functionality it provides, it's also a prerequisite for some other functionality in the database. By default, we have a 4000 byte limit on string types, and RAW has a 2000 byte limit. If we enable extended data types, all of those become 32k limits. But remember, this is bytes, not characters. The number of characters you can store in the string types will depend on the character set. There's no way to disable extended data types, so take a backup before you begin and test everything before you do it on a real server. To enable extended data types, we have to set the max string size to extended. Then we have to shut down the database and start it again in upgrade mode. This is a multi-tenant database, so we have to make sure all pluggable databases are open in upgrade mode too. We have to run a script called UTL32K. This is a multi-tenant database, so we have to run it in each container. We do this using the catcon Perl script. We specify the directory of the script we want to run, the output location, and then a prefix for any output files, as well as the script itself. If this were a system we cared about, we would actually check through all of the log files to make sure there weren't any errors, but I'm going to skip that now. The final step is to restart the database. Let's see a quick example of using extended data types. We create a table using the extended data types. We insert a new row, padding out the columns to the maximum size and then check the size of the data we just inserted. As you can see, by enabling this feature, we're able to store much more data in regular columns without having to resort to using lobs directly. If we look at the contents of the schema, we can see that Oracle's actually used lobs in the background to implement this functionality. Thanks for watching. As always, you can find links to my articles on this subject in the description.